Hey there, Sharon Hornells here. Welcome to day 131 of our Let's Grow Annual Challenge. Today we are talking about, and this whole month we're focusing on mental growth, but we're going through the SOAP framework with the area we decided yesterday of mental growth, a challenge area, area we wanted to improve. I picked uh, negative self-talk, uh, primarily negative self-talk because that's the one I, I find myself, and I don't have my magnifying glass, uh, popping into and using the most often that is really... Uh, has a negative impact me on me in a lot of different areas in different ways. And so I like to say I want to get rid of it once and for all, knowing full well that chances are this will just be a continuous process and step of continuous improvement. Uh, we're following Jovi's story and guide two of the Let's Grow Annual Challenge private Facebook group page as she goes through the entire soap process. And as we talk about each step and she actually applies each step. She's doing work-related uh mental topics in the area of uh, time management, procrastination, and things like that. And procrastination is a, a mindset thing, right? It's a mental thing. It's a mental growth area that we can all improve. If we reduce our procrastination if we set, and there's lots of ways we're going to go about doing it. She's going to go about doing that. And there's ways I will share that I'm going to go about applying the SOAP framework to uh negative self-talk or not being good enough or judging ourselves or comparing ourselves to others. It's all a, a kind of a lower self-esteem thing, which we're going to talk about a lot in the area in the month of self-confidence. But for today, we're going to identify what is our current story? What is the story we're telling ourselves with respect to the area that we've selected to work on? So what what kind of negative self-talk am I using? What kind of environments and when am I using it? What excuses am I making to myself that it's okay to do that? And then what is my desired story? What's the What do I want my self-talk to be like? What do I want uh, my reaction and my not comparing myself to others? How do I flip that switch? That's what we'll do through the rest of the process. But that's my personal area of improvement. So today, our action item is, of course, to identify your current story. What is going on right now with that area of mental growth for you? And what do you want it to be like? What, what's your desired story? We have to have that so we can identify the gap between the two. And then the rest of the process, the SOAP framework, goes ahead and fills that. I've got all my little SOAP framework things here, the things I used over the, the last four years teaching this because it's such a powerful tool to have in our subconscious and in our toolbox to deal with any changes, challenge, setbacks, problems, etc. All right. Again, Jovi Story Guide 2, a little write-up and guide to for Step 1, S, Story of the Soul Process. Any questions, you know what to do. Hit me up and ask. Otherwise, have an awesome day, and I will, of course, be with you tomorrow. That is provided I can get the computer to go off because we have super slow con.